Christine, U.S. officials say internal pressure is building on Russian President Vladimir Putin, his own people, now protesting against the war he started a week ago. But so far, that's not stopping the assault on Ukraine as much as locals wish it would. I hope all this violence and cruelness and soon. A tearful plea from this young woman finding refuge in this underground metro station turned shelter in Ukraine's capital city of Kyiv. Russia bombarded yesterday and in the night and this morning. Day seven of Russia's lethal invasion bringing more devastation to Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, where at least 21 people were killed Wednesday. Ukrainian civilian death toll climbing to more than 2,000, according to Ukrainian officials. Locals sifting through the rubble of what was once a home, a stuffed animal among the debris, remnants of what was once a gym, lines at grocery stores long as supply uncertainty lingers. This is President Putin's war. The U.S. announcing more sanctions Wednesday on 22 Russian defense entities. Meanwhile, the U.N. reports Russia is moving banned weaponry into Ukraine, including cluster munitions and vacuum bombs. This as Russia is declaring it has overtaken its first major city, Kherson, in the Crimea region, a report refuted by Ukraine. Um. The Ukrainian army growing by the day as the 40-mile-long Russian convoy remains stalled as it creeps toward Kyiv. Putin's soldiers reportedly running low on fuel and supplies as Ukrainians, including new and expecting mothers, hold out hope. Hopefully this one will see peace. That expecting mother is just one of many in an underground maternity ward that is filled with women seeking safety and pleading with Putin to stop. And also, this just in an update, Russia has in fact taken that key port city of Kherson. The mayor there of that city confirming it had fallen, saying, quote, there is no Ukrainian army here. Peace talks are expected to resume tomorrow. Wow.